Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share my outfit of the day and also two new lipsticks that I just picked up yesterday with you guys. Um, I just absentmindedly started my dishwasher, so that's what you're hearing. I'm so sorry for that. Um, I pushed the button and then turned around and hit record on here and I should have thought about it, but <laughs> I didn't. Anyhow, so let me share my outfit with you guys and then I'll share um, the two lipsticks I picked up from Mac. Um, it is rodeo time in Houston, so bear that in mind when you see my outfit. I'll stand back there. All right, so I've got on a Mossimo um, cardigan. It's from Target, the same ones that I always pretty much wear. Uh, and then I've just got on a black tank, also from Target. That is where I get my basics, and I wear my basics a lot, <laughs> a whole lot. Um, they're just easy, you know, and I don't feel bad when this gets really, really faded or stained or torn or anything like that. So, you know, I, I like those. And then um, my black jeggings from Target. I just ordered a pair of the Old Navy Rockstar jeggings in black because I actually like the fabric of the Old Navy ones more than I like this one from Target. Um, so I just picked up a pair of those, but they're on back order, so I shouldn't get them for a while. And then my boots, these are my boots. They are my cowboy boots. And um, my biggest criteria for cowboy boots is that they have to look like something my grandfather would have worn. And my grandpa was, you know, real cowboy. Um, he would have only worn something pointed in the front and with this kind of slope in the back that goes in, that is, you know, what he would have worn. So that and they have to be very, you know, westerny. So pretty worn looking. Um, I don't like color embroidery and, you know, all that crazy stuff on my cowboy boots. So. Those are my cowboy boots. Um, I have a black crew too, but I don't really wear those as much as I wear these. These are just so much more comfortable. And I know I paired them with black. I like the way that black and tan look together, um, especially when you're carrying like a tan purse or something. I think it looks really, really cool. Or if I had switched out my cardigan for the tan cardigan that I wear. Um, I like the way that that mixes. So, and then of course my necklace, it's just doubled and I fasten it back here when I double it with the with the um, little opening, the lobster claw, I fasten it to the part that I doubled so that it stays like that. Um, but it's from Chic by Michelle and it's Etsy and I will link that down below. Now the two lipsticks that I picked up, let me move this up here so that you can see a little better, sorry for all the movement. The first one I am wearing and I absolutely love it. I kept seeing it online thinking it was gonna be way too purple, way too lilac, but it's not. Um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful pink, like a blue pink. Uh, they are from the Mac Chinman collection. Look like they it. They're really pretty. It's uh, his is like east meets west. It's like sorry, it's like blue meets uh, blue meets pink. So it kind of you know that's how the concept behind the makeup is. Um, so without further ado, let me. This is budding love, and it's just the over wrap that's different. Everything else is the same as a regular line MAC lipstick. So here it is. Typical packaging and here is Budding Love and it is the color that I'm wearing now and I think it is so beautiful. It is a very... do not look at my nails please. They are in dire need of some assistance. So there is that color. It is a very pretty blue lilac -y pink. This is a luster. It's got more of a glossy finish than most MAC lipsticks. So here is that one. It's very, very pretty. I like it a lot. The other one is called Force of Love. And yes, I know it's backwards. I know it's, I have a reverse image on my camera. It's my, my benefit. I'm sorry for you guys. <laughs> um, I get confused when I see something that I'm doing here. In, uh, yeah, my mind doesn't work like that, so sorry. Um, this is Force of Love and it is a matte lipstick and it also is in the same packaging as the regular one. And it is a very pretty 
um, kind of orangey pink. Very pretty kind of orange pink. It's not coral at all. And it's a matte, like I said, and here it is. And it's gorgeous. I wore this yesterday. Oh, let me show you guys. There you go. Beautiful color. It's really, really pretty. Very matte, like I said, but I wore it yesterday and I didn't have any dryness. I think it really felt moisturizing. I mean, it didn't feel bad. There's Force of Love. I really like it. And I like these two for spring so much. I just think they're so pretty. Um, the Budding Love and then also the, like I said, do not look at my nails. The, um, yeah, Force of Love here and then Budding Love over there. And beautiful. This one I wore yesterday with, um, what? <sighs> I don't remember what blush I had on, but I like the way it looked a lot. Today I'm just wearing NARS Orgasm, so I didn't want anything to compete with my lips because I just really do love this color. It is such a beautiful color. Um, but they are part of the new Chin Men collection, which you guys know these collections don't last. I know I always said I was not going to get into collections because they don't last. And I think my biggest theory behind that is I fall in love with things and then I run out and I can never find them again. And that is so true um, with everything. These though, I just, you know, the colors I just love. I love, I am such a pink, I have such a fascination with it. I love pink lipsticks and I like lipstick in general. There are several. Um, the first one that comes to mind and will always come to mind is the Candy Yum Yum from the, the Sweet Collection last year that I wanted so badly, like so badly, and I held off on it because it was a special collection item. Then by the time I realized that I was in love with the color, it was completely sold out everywhere. eBay had it for ridiculous prices that I wasn't gonna pay. So I gave up, and that will forever, in my heart, just hold this spot of, I wish I had, you know, I wish I had gone and gotten it and not, I just kept, like I said, putting it off because I didn't want to get involved with special collections and la 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 la, and then I will just regret. I will regret it all the time. And every time I see somebody wearing it, um, whether it's on a YouTube video, before I even read the description bar of what they're wearing, I know that it's that color, that shade. And I've seen women wearing it out, like when I'm out at dinner or just at the gallery or somewhere, and I know, like I know in my heart that it's that color. And this, the several times that I have asked, what shade is your lipstick? I get the candy yum yum and then I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Cause it just, I, yeah, I will forever want that. So that one and then the other one is the, from the Mac Cook, Mac Shop, whatever, whatever that collection, I think that's the stupidest name for a collection, but anyway, whatever that collection was called, um, the Saute Me or whatever, there's like three, two vibrant pinks and then a light pink that I did not, I once again put off on picking up and I'm just in love with them and they're sold out now so I can't find them anywhere. But anyhow, um, these came out yesterday. They were released in MAC on March 2nd or I think online March 1st and in stores on March 2nd. So I had to have these two. Um, I've been looking at them. You know, I go to Timtalia.com and I look at her swatches before the MAC collections are released and sometimes I'm like, eh, and like with the Cook collection, I didn't think there were anything, there was anything that I wanted out of that. Um, and then I started seeing swatches of, of colors on other people. You know, Timtalia, I love her to death. She has great, she does great job swatching and everything. Her swatches tend to be on her skin tone and she is a lot darker than me. So sometimes it's hard for me to judge. Like, I don't know if I want that. Then I'll see it on someone who is my coloring or a little bit darker or lighter. And then I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need that. By the time I, I see that, by the time I want it, it's no longer available. So I had to go get these um, oh, yeah. as soon as I saw the colors. Thank you, honey. So anyhow, those, that's my, my rant and my rave um, and the colors that I picked up. Budding Love and Force of Love in the Chinman, Mac Chinman Collection. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.